Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist. You're watching episode 3 of Jazz Punk. Do you remember in the last episode we did a lot of stuff? Degoused a lot of pigeons. We uh, fought off a lot of zombie pizzas in the strange computerized pizza world. And I guess now we just uh, keep exploring. It's did all I? About the jails, man. Whoa, you crazy. Just taking another of your uh, pennies. Because <laughs> I can't remember whether I explored this uh, newspaper machine. Well, not explore. Oh no, I've seen that. That's what I meant. Okay, let's take another penny. Oh, come here. Whoa, you crazy. Yeah, I am. Let's keep going. <laughs> I've got a feeling there's a lot more to see just yet. It's this one. No, I've seen that one as well. Um, oh, hang on, what's this? Okay. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> Random. But then again, this game is full of randomness, so I won't question it. Whoa, you crazy. Hey, what's that there? Huh, okay. It's just a bin, that's all it was. Oh, hello, what's this over here? Hello, my name is Johnny 2. Oh, hello, Johnny 2. Mo money, mo hardware problems. What? Mo money, mo hardware problems. Oh, are you saying that because I've got a penny in my hand? What if I take it out? My mother never thought oh, right. you speak and spell. Oh, good for her. I got an idea. Okay. Press this button. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. Right, you're just going to reform. Good thing I have quicksand. Ah, ah, quicksand, I get it. I'm superior to a trash can in almost every way. I can modulate my voice all day long. Could you think? Well, I can't modulate mine, clearly. Why do humans exist on a coating or a nervous? What? Oh, do you mean like covering our skin? Oh. Are you a person or an antelope? Well, if you can't tell the answer to that, then you're not a very good robot. I wish more people were like you. Oh, you're a lovey you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good laughter. Ra 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 ra. I have no owner. I'm free. Good for you. I killed my owner in his sleep. Very well. <laughs> you don't have anything else, though, do you? You're not my real father. No, I'm not. I was programmed. 1992, in the future. Oh yes, because this is supposed to be taking place in some sort of 1963, is it not? My mother never All right. taught me to speak and spell. See ya. What's this? Extra strength, placebax, 1000 milligrams. Do not use over or under water for fast, effective relief of everything and anything causing physical or psychological distress. Dosage for humans over age of consent. One cap caplet. This is really hard reading because I've literally put, got my head on the side here. <laughs> as often as necessary. Dos dosage for sim simulants. One caplet every 108.034 dot cycles. Or clock cycles even. <laughs> Medicinal ingredients. Cornstarch, glucose. Keep out of reach of larvae. Oh. Never take placebo except after- oh shit, okay. Oh dear. I wish you'd told me that before taking it. Alright. I still got that money. You gonna say anything? Yeah, just a box, okay. Circumflex Apartments. Closed for... really. Interesting. Hey Johnny 2. Nope, that's nothing in there. Oh! No way. <laughs> ah, take that, bitch! <laughs> oh, hello. What's going on over here? You're late. Side quest, okay. Find the mailbox marked with chalk on the side. We will see further instructions from there. We are everywhere in underwear. <laughs> no, wait. I <laughs> yeah. can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. And then I'd have to resurrect you. Locate the mailbox. Yeah, okay. Chalk. Side mission time. Okay. Find mailbox with chalk. Ch chalk. Is that it up there? <laughs> Fission chips. I see. 
Can I go in there? <laughs> Customer reaction has been overwhelming. I ate some, now I'm bursting with energy. Good for you. Now, is that the mailbox with the chalk on the side? Oh, hello, what's this? We specialise in laundering your stolen goods. Okay. <laughs> what's it called, that? Something company. Is this the... Oh. Hello. There's a man in the park, sitting on a bench. Deliver this package to him. If you open it, we'll know. The onion is in the ointment. I repeat, the onion is in the ointment. The frog is in the omelette. Repeat, the frog is in the omelette. I subsist on stamps and rainwater. <laughs> There's a man in the park, sitting okay, on a bench. Okay, right, yeah. I get it. Actually, we can go up this flight of stairs here. I know who he's talking about. He's talking about the MacGuffin dude. The chap who was always on about the MacGuffin. But what the hell happened to you? Jeez. <laughs> there he is. He's over here. And there's a pigeon on his head. Okay. Have a seat, but keep your eyes forward. Locate the newspaper box marked with a piece of... Oh, God, gum. really? Okay, newspaper box marked with chewing gum. Where would that be? What's that? Xerox Park? <laughs> Dedicated to the memory banks of George Paik. <clears throat> to commemorate his outstanding research in... Pit in... What? <clears throat> Fission powered, that's it. Quantum biomechanics. And as founder, Vera City's first augmented puppy orphanage. May his nuclear powered titanium skeleton orbit Ganymede in peace. GP, 1924C to 1953-something. Okay. So now we're looking for the newspaper box. We can do that. Now, what's the one under here? It's got chewing gum on it, apparently. That's not got chewing gum by the looks of it. Nope. Yeah, I've got, oh, God, I'm clipping through the bloody staircase. Hello. Oh, what? The fuck? Oh, you son of a bitch pigeon. Damn you! Shitting on me! Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, newspaper box with chewing gum on it. Oh god. Stuck. Is this it? Ah, this is it! Hello! You're almost there, Agent. Go to the Raytheon Motel. Knock on the door using the secret knock. Not correctly, and you'll be let well inside. Oh god. You're almost there, Agent. Yeah, I've said that. <laughs> Nothing else. Raytheon Motel. Knock on the door using the secret knock. It's amazing I can still hear it from over here. Not uh, correctly. There we are. Well inside. Why is it the Raytheon Motel? <laughs> so the Raytheon is a flipping weapons company. <laughs> Oh! Oh, I did it! Look at that! I'm such a pro! Oh, hello. What are you? Congratulations. You've made it. Really? This carrier frequency pigeon possesses top secret information. We need you to smuggle it into the next level by any means necessary. Don't let us down. Okay. Well done. Oh! We'll be keeping an eye on you. I did not just eat that, did I? Well, evidently I did. Okay. <laughs> Fascinating. Anything else around here? Box? You gonna speak? No, you're not. A lot of pigeons in these. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can really do anything else, does it? This trench coat's made of the finest bald eagle pelts. Really? The cat is in the toilet. I repeat, the cat is in the toilet. Ah, oh, typical secret agent code words. This trench coat's made of the finest bald eagle pelts. Yeah, you said that before. Oh! Okay, fine. Right, uh, what next? We were still exploring around this way, weren't we? We'd passed fish and chips. Now, what else have we got? Yeah, we did the basketball, we did the placebex. We've done that, obviously, that side mission now. Oh, come on. Here's my penny. Uh, any more? Oh, newspaper box. 
Newspaper box files. No, I've seen that. Uh, okay, I might have seen them all. These newspaper box. News newspaper boxes. What have we got around here? <laughs> Lovely. Fine. Oh, what do we got? Hang on, there is another pe paper box. Okay. What? Oh, is it cinema? Ah. Well, we'll come back to that in a second. I'm just going to jump up the footage whilst I go and get another penny. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, we've got ourselves a penny. Let's just check this news box. Right. What's this one then? President calls robot leprosy a good thing. Neurotech invents 10 arm decapus. Okay, how very interesting. Oh, look at you. You are an usher, I imagine. There we go. Go on in whenever you feel like it, whatever. Please don't forget to buy an overpriced concession. Oh, I know what you mean. Trailers are my favorite part. Uh, not mine, really. And don't forget to turn off the <laughs> smell phone. My smell phone. Go on in whenever you feel like it. Do I have to queue up? Uh, hell yes! This is going to be very bad for business. I'm sorry, matey. I'm not sorry, really. <laughs> oh, so let's go in the cinema then. Hang on, let's just view what's actually uh, on first. Come on, what is it? What do we got? So this is the Parallax Cinema. And Quadruple Indemnity, Johnny Pneumonia, Occult is My Password, The Big Sleep Mode. And that's the same on that side, okay. Hey, look, a milk truck. Well, see ya. <laughs> okay, let's go into the cinema. Uh, come on. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, what? Swing wing? Um, a swing wing, okay. <laughs> Is that some old 1960s advert? Oh, I've got a cigar here, I've just noticed. What the fuck are you doing, seriously, on that screen? <laughs> okay. Oh. Do you mind? No, not at all. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, so dastardly of me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Chuck that out. Oh, I've got popcorn. No, it looks actually very blocky. <laughs> Dear God! That's not what you just said. Keep your food to yourself. Son of a. No, just shook it away. Okay. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Oh. Oh, is that it? I don't really care if you leave now. You've already paid me your admission. I certainly hope you enjoy the trailers. Oh, I did. I love that one about the swing wing. If the floors weren't sticky, you'd float away. I like to throw pennies in a soda fountain. Good luck. You know, that is a thought, isn't it? About cinemas and how sticky their floors are. Perhaps the reason is because, otherwise, we would float away because there's secretly no gravity in cinemas. Yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely a lot of bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> right, there's another bloody agents there, what the hell. Okay, so, what else is there to do? Or shall we actually go and get on with this mission? I think we'll get on with the mission, I think. Okay, so Soviet Consulate... Ooh, hello. What is this? It's a newspaper. Temporal shifting decriminalized. Time had celebrate by going back in time. Megacorp CEO declares Uno. Wow. <laughs> I'm a political prisoner. Yes, I imagine you are. Oh, hello there. I'm afraid you don't have appointment. <laughs> Check out Russian accent. I'm sorry, I cannot allow you access. Brestiev not me. 
Some of his eat lunch at noon. Ah, oh, well, sure you couldn't let me in? You know, it'd be really nice if you did. Or so I'd just sneak around behind you. <laughs> okay. I'm just lining her up for a bit of a screenshot. There we go. Because I can always use these guys for the thumbnails. Hello. Are you a security guard? You have insufficient security clearance. I'm afraid I must ask you off premises. Please to be going now. <laughs> Please to be going now. <laughs> right. Oh, jeez, God. <laughs> I can't jump over a flipping rope barrier. Okay. Oh, what's this? Schedule. 12, lunchtime. 4.15, communist plotting. <laughs> 6, vodka and biscuits. 7.45, potato sack race. How interesting. Hmm. Okay. Right. Whoa! Jeez, guy, don't sneak up behind me. God. Cushion, workers above. I did notice there was that open window up there. I wonder if that's the way in. We can get to it. And somehow get onto where the workers are, maybe. I don't know. Um. Oh, hang on, what's this? Wait. wait. What's that say? Feel lost, stuck in life? Call the Hint helpline. We'll set you on the right path. Dial toll free, 555, Hint. <laughs> $200 a minute. Okay. 555 hint. Eh. Oh god. That is an old flipping dial tone. Hint hotline, hint. Workers take their lunch break at noon. Okay. Um. Can I just type in random numbers? Oh. Nah. Address not in service. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so. Workers take their lunch break at noon. Right. Hang on a minute. I just realised something. Ah! Hang on a sec, I can interact with this, can't I? Uh, do I have to change it? Okay, hang on. Hang on, I think I've... This was a fairly easy puzzle, to be honest. Uh, go on. Uh, go on. Oh god, it's hard. It's very sensitive. There we are. Hello? <laughs> what do you want? I imagine you are. So what are these workers up to over here? How about you? What do you got? All I got is a ham sandwich. So, uh, how's the wife and kids? I ain't married, young goob. <laughs> Look, the player won't even notice. This is just incidental dialogue. <laughs> wow. I think we should leave that running. Hey, you paid the wife, not think. What do you got for lunch? All I think. got for lunch is Windex. Oh, right. Okay. How about you? What do you got? All I got is a ham sandwich. So, uh, how's the wife and kids? <laughs> okay. Are they just gonna... I married, you goob. Yeah, it seems they're just looping. Mm. Wow. Okay. Let's uh, get me getting on with things. We need to get this mission done. Oh. Ah, here we go. Whoa, bloody hell. I can jump quite high. Okay, right. This is it. But I think I will wrap this episode up here and we'll do the mission in the next episode. So, this is General Red signing off after another episode of Jazz Punk. So, I I was going to say, <laughs> sorry, for a second then I was, I was going to go through what we've done, but I've gone and forgotten what we've done. Yeah, we did the swing wing, we, yeah, we, that's the one thing I can see, sort of remember, that bloody 1960s uh, toy advert, but yes, anyway, goodbye.